Hey, this is Scott Monkern. Um, I just got in the mail today <clears throat> um, Stockpile Continuing Corruption. It's the expansion for Stockpile. They just kickstarted it. They went really fast through a Kickstarter. They actually went from completing their Kickstarter to uh, production like it took like two months. I was really surprised it came so fast. I want to go ahead and go through and tell you kind of the stuff that inclu was included on it. I really like it. Um, it's got a system similar to like um, what Culture uses in terms of an expansion, which is a bunch of kind of individual modules you can add on. Um, and you can kind of pick and choose what you want to use. Now, the first module we've got here is um, a bunch of new investor cards, or you get more additional ones like about. But they give you a bunch of new investor cards with new powers on them. Um, all very cool. Um, not a big change in mechanics there. Now, where we do start to see a big change in mechanics is, first of all, um, we've got here bond cards. They look like this. There's a bond on them, right like that. Now, the way the bond car cards work is at the beginning of each turn, each um, uh, player has the opportunity to buy up to, th I think it's three, bond cards. Um, you pay a premium for them. You pay between four and 7000 for them. They pay out at the beginning of each turn. So... Um, they pay out 1000 each turn, but you also get your money back at the end of the game. So if you're looking for a set, uh, just like regular bonds, if you're looking for a steady stream of income, um, bonds are a pretty cool way to go. Um, investors, we've got the bond cards. Now, in addition to that, let me see if I can pull it out here. Um, the other thing are commodity cards. They look like this. You see here's cattle. And the way commodity cards work is, is that um, after you've um, stockpiled everything, where you've added all your cards together to the table, um, every person gets to draw one stockpile card or one commodity card. There's also taxes cards that you mix in as well, and you add one of those to each of the piles as well for purposes of bidding. Um, now, the way the commodities work, the taxes are pretty obvious, which is what happens is, is you total up your number of taxes cards at the end of the game, and you lose a lot of money. Um, the way the commodities works is, is you want to create collections, not of one type, but of say cattle and corn and natural gas and the number of different cards you have gives you more money so that's kind of the um cattle the commodities cards kind of a cool feature um in addition the way they are handling um the market move is a little bit different what they've done is is they give you let me grab it here a bunch of dice. See, they'll carry a little bag, and you notice how they got numbers like dollar signs, plus ones, and minus twos, so on and so forth. Um, and then there's a little chart here. And what happens is you roll all six dice, and then you pull out the appropriate movement card and randomize them to each of the companies. So it's no longer a situation where you always know exactly what it's going to be every turn. It changes all the time, so it gives a little bit of variety to it. So you got those. You got the commodities and taxes. Um, They've also got some suggestions about changing kind of the way things are beginning. We've got some other things here like you've got um, 10K cards because at the end of the game, if you're the high, um, if you're the um, uh, lead shareholder of a company, you get 10K. So they've got little cards for those as well. Um, they've got some other neat new features. One of the characters has the ability to um, not block you from bidding during the stockpile round, but it forces you to bid higher, so they got some little bidding, to bidding tokens there. They've improved the turn marker. They've gone to bigger ones with a little bit heavier weight. Um, a number of people have always commented the original ones were kind of really wimpy. They were right, they've gone to better ones. Oh, and so that's it. Um, it's a relatively cheap one. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks um, for it. It's got a lot of new features. I'm gonna go ahead and play with them. Um, tonight um, during a gaming night so we'll see how it goes but yeah I definitely think it looks like it's worth the money it's got some new features and one of the nice things about it is is that it fits inside your stockpile box so you don't have to carry around an expansion box which is so many times a problem with other expansions so check it out um, you can find it on stock I think it's um, Navu games um, that's their website at a U V O O um, and so have fun with that and um, yeah one of the things I'll tell you I was really impressed with how fast um, they did come out with it. They came out with it really, really fast. Um, some of the other uh, Kickstarters that I've done have always seemed to take a little bit of a long time. They did a really good job. came out really, really fast. Okay, we hope you enjoy it.